In this video, we're going to look at how to remove any distracting backgrounds from your images. So you're going to go from this to that. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So today we're going to look at how to remove any distracting images or distracting backgrounds from our images. And I'm going to make use of this picture right over here. So we're going to get rid of the towel around the neck and replace it with that of the door over there. And we're going to do that right away. So there are a couple of approaches to this. Better use the one that will fit you. But the one that I will use in this tutorial is as follows. I'm first going to pick my polygonal lasso tool. Obviously, we're going to make a selection. So you can either go for the pen tool or the polygonal, any of the lasso tools. So I'm going to select or make a selection around where I want to get rid of. So I'm going to zoom in very well and start right from here. So I'm going to do the selection and I might have to fast forward this area. If you want to really know how to make smooth selections around pictures like this, check out in my description for tutorial, full tutorial on that. So I'm done with the selection. The whole idea here is that you're going to select the part that you want to replace, fill or remove. So what we are going to do right over here is we're going to right click and go to fill and then we're going to sample a source color that is very similar to this place. So we, if you can see right from here that we have this color that is very similar to this place. If you're using versions like CC 2019, it allows you to use the content away. So use content over here. You can have the content away. You can have the foreground, the background. Then we're going to sample the color source from here. So we use this eyedropper to, to select the color from here. And then you're going to click OK and then OK. So if you press Ctrl D to deselect, you can see that this here doesn't look real because you can see it right from here. So I'm going to press Ctrl Z and then Alt to fill it again. So basically you have to take your time to sample a color source that will fit this one very well. So I selected this color from here. Let's try that one out. I think this looks much better. So if you zoom out like this, you can see that um, it's gone. That is it. Yeah. So you just have to take your time to sample a color source that is going to blend with the background that you are using. Now, after doing this, what we are going to do next is I'm going to pick my blood tool and then I'm going to blur this area like that because I don't want it to be that plain for everyone to see that it has been edited or something like that. So I'm going to blend the part that I filled a little bit. Like that and then if i zoom out right now it will be a bit difficult for you to see that this has been alterated so from here what i'm going to do next is i'm going to pick my polygonal lasso tool looking at the picture critically you can see that this side is almost the same as this side so i'm going to employ this strategy of cutting this area and then i'm going to fill it with this area so i'm going to make the selection from here and i'll catch you when i'm done So after making the selection, you're going to right click and then you go to layer via copy. So the layer is copied for us and then you're going to press Ctrl T to activate the transformation. Right click and then flip horizontal. So it is going to basically go this side. So you hold shift and then you drag it to this side. So you're going to make sure that it is in line with this one exactly like that. So when you decrease the opacity, you can see clearly the parts that you need to get rid of. And to get rid of this one, I'm going to make use of the layer mask. So I'll add a layer mask to this. And then I'm going to select my brush, make sure the hardness is zero. And then the foreground, of course, is black. So I'm going to get rid of all these areas that I, I don't want. So I'm going to take my time to basically do this systematically because it takes a lot of time. So. Um, all that you need to do is you be brushing off the areas that you don't want. If you mistakenly brush it off an area like this, you flip it back to white and then you can get it back like that. So 
black is for turning off this area and white is getting it back on if you want to see a full video on layer mask check in the description one will be there so i'll catch you up when i'm done filling or clearing off the parts that we don't want one eternity later so after taking my time to do this this is what i'm having right now if you take your time if you get about 40 50 minutes for this you're going to get something much perfect than this one i'll include this picture in the link in the description so if you want to download and try your hands on this you can download this so after this the final thing that you do is you hold control and then you select the two layers that you have in here and then you press control t to merge them so we are having a full layer right now so basically one thing that you can employ as to this strategy is you can use the blur tool to blur the areas that you edited so that it wouldn't look that much edited and afterwards you can do a couple of adjustments like this photo filter adding a photo filter to it will be much better like that so you increase the density a little bit so that this wouldn't look that much edited you can employ this strategy in any of the pictures that you have to remove all the distracting backgrounds that you have in your images i hope this video was helpful if it was give it a like and if you've not subscribed please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video it's innocent here bye